everybody welcome back to my channel what i wanted to do today was i just wanted to do a bit of a chatty video talking you through where we're at in the house buying process i really wanted to document like the whole process but it just wasn't something i was i wasn't in the habit of recording i'd kind of fallen out of the habit of that and it was quite a stressful process initially um and yeah so i wish i had recorded that but i have created a home instagram account which has got like nothing on it at the moment sophie b's home and um i'm gonna when we actually get the keys and we move in i'm gonna document more of the process of that um on, on my instagram so like moving in and decorating cleaning all that sort of stuff and sort of more homey content instagram is the kind of the, the one place where i do want to keep things separate because i feel like that's more um i think that's more suitable to keep everything or um all separate when it's very very different uh the one sort of platform i feel it does need to be but hey ho so we are buying our first property uh, me and my partner um we looked started looking we had the money um and we had a decision in principle um and we started looking at the end of october i had a week off of annual leave uh, just after my birthday um i can't remember why my other half couldn't have the time off uh, but I think I just had holiday to use up um, with furlough and uh, being off for 16 weeks. I hadn't used like any of my holiday or very little of my holiday. I had an obscene amount left and that was the last uh, month my holiday works um, from when I started. Um, because we were such a big company, it would just be a nightmare if we worked it to calendar year or financial year because everyone would be wanting to use holiday up at the same time. So it's done from when you join the company. Uh, so my holiday works like towards the, uh, from the beginning of November round to the end of October. So I had like time left to take. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna take a week. I know my other half can't take it, but my holiday was gonna renew at the beginning of November and it will all be fine. So I had a week off. Um, obviously my other half, JJ, he had um, some days off because he has days off during the week. Um, so we went house hunting um i had planned to see a couple of properties that we really really like like the look of online um we found an area that we wanted to move to which is a little bit more of a commute for me and a little bit more of a commute for him but more so for me um but it's an area where we can get so much more for our money um if we were to stay here we'd be looking at one bedroom two bedroom flats um if we move slightly further away move half an hour in the opposite direction away um we can get a three bedroom house <laughs> so we decided actually for that um we'd rather do a longer commute my commute's going to go up to about 45 minutes to an hour um and jonathan's is going to go up as well um his name is jonathan um he gets it abbreviated to jj um i am probably just going to continue calling him jonathan because i saw i tend to call him most i don't want to confuse you um so we went and looked at a few properties um that final week of october there was um my other half uh, he rides motorbikes so it's really important um that he has somewhere that he can um safely um have his motorbikes he can do maintenance work on them he doesn't have a car so it's really important that we had that space so there's one property that came up that didn't have um a garage or anything we were looking like um one of our search criteria was that the, the building had to have the property had to come with a garage um or some kind of uh rear access we soon decided that actually maybe just rear access was better um there was one property that we saw that was an absolute steal but when we actually went um to kind of look around the area we decided that the area wasn't the nice end of town and we just didn't want to be there that felt like really not a very nice area he'd worry about the you know the just worry about the safety of anything in the garage and stuff like that we just decided on paper it looks like a great property but the area wasn't nice so we had to write that off and we saw the property that we're actually buying um came up and um the really good thing about it is that it's got rear access so a lot of properties you can't necessarily get to the rear um especially when you're in like a you know a row of terraced houses um a lot of the time you can't actually gain access to the rear so this property came up it's end of terrace and there is a road that goes behind all the all the properties on 
the stretch where we are um goes down to a communal parking area so it's a wide road um and there's a rear gate and it's the end of terrace as well so it's got really good rear access so it hasn't got a garage um with it there's no there's no garage but there's this scope and um there was already a hard standing there where the current owner previous owner depending on what you wanted to call him um he had a shed he had like a workshop out the back which he dismantled when he decided he was moving he dismantled it all but the hard standing's still there so it's got the scope for building something custom building something exactly what jonathan wants for his bikes for his tools so he can do maintenance work um and store them safely uh, and securely away as well um so they're not um just out in the elements all year round so um perfect it was a little bit um i was kind of put off a little bit by the estate agent because she said you know unfortunately uh the the owner is a smoker blah 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 uh but when we went and looked um it needs work doing it needs some tlc it's lived in by a man and he rents has lodgers he rents the rooms upstairs to um to other people um it just needs a bit of tlc it needs a really really deep clean we saw three properties that day i think two or three properties that day when we went um and first saw it and um it was such a weird experience going um around someone else's house um such a weird experience and the first property we saw we were like um this is just no <laughs> uh, as well as it having a garage the first property uh, the garage needed work we couldn't just move straight in so we kind of said well that puts that on a level pegging with the one that we are buying because um it doesn't have anything there so we'd have to spend money either way we'd have to spend money on either doing a garage up or building something so you know it it was just the first property was just um it's still on the market it's not sold it yeah it was very interesting we saw one place that again had sort of side access but it was just too small unfortunately very very small um you got the front door walked straight onto the um the living room and the living room itself was very very small the kitchen was um I mean, for two people, not a problem. But then, obviously, my other half, he has a daughter from a previous relationship. Um, and we want people to be able to come and, and have dinner. Like, the first, that small house, was like, there'd be no space for us to have a dinner table anywhere. We couldn't have people over for dinner. And it's just all those little things. We're just like, no, it's too small for us. Um, and then we looked at this property that we actually decided to buy. And on that day, we'd seen so much. It was quite a shock, everything that we'd seen. Um some of the states of the places uh the first house in particular we were like is that embarrassing for you like we're talking to the estate agent is that embarrassing for you to like um to, to show that to people like do you get embarrassed because it was just such a hodgepodge place he was all very polite and he was actually really very good the guy that showed us around and um he kind of just said you know it is what it is there's not anything like he can change and he just kind of says it how it is um so um we we came back for a second viewing on the um the third property the property we actually decided we, I, after thinking about it overnight and talking about all the potential it had the pros the cons it was the biggest property that we could get in that price range um yes okay it needed work it doesn't have central heating um and it needs a lot of tlc things that cost money uh, the bathroom really needs uh, completely renovating but it's livable in its current state um and we decided that we'd take the plunge uh we went back for a second viewing we measured we had a look um and we just decided yeah we wanted to go for it so we put an offer in there was a little bit of a um an issue with it um the vendor was a bit uh cautious with uh, not wanted to be messed around and i had to jump through a few hoops and speak to their financial advisor through the um through the estate agent to make them see we've gotten a decision in principle and put his mind at rest all got sorted out um we were in a bit of a bidding war it's an ex-council property and we were in a bit of a bidding war with the council trying to buy it back um but the vendor decided he'd rather sell it to us than sell it to the council there's a lot more red tape involved with the council it would be a lot more of a long drawn out process than it would be with us buying so and he wanted it to go to people didn't want it just to go to the council 
So um, we've been very lucky in that the vendor has actually made contact with us and he is moving up north and he's um, a single man and he's got quite a lot of furniture that he doesn't want to move up there. It cost him sort of more money to move it than it would be to buy brand new and he's buying a newer property. So he got in contact and said, look, I have some things. Are you happy for me to leave them? So he's leaving the fridge freezer. I think he said he'd leave the washing machine, a couple of bed frames and a dining room table and chairs, which obviously we're really, really grateful for because um, we're first time buyers. We haven't got a lot of furniture. So that will set us up well and then we can you know we can replace bits as and when we want to um if we want to it's not all to our taste but um that will come with time it just sets us up then for um you know being able to move in quickly and have that stuff there for free he doesn't he hasn't asked for any money and he's we've made it clear that we can't afford to pay him for it so he's like no 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 i want to give it to you so we're really really grateful for that um so at the moment we're um in the process of uh, all the kind of legal stuff so as the solicitor has raised inquiries um with his solicitor there's just a few things that need to be clearing up um, our mortgage all got approved that was such a nerve-wracking process because mortgages are taking so much longer to be approved at the moment um and that was so nerve-wracking and in the until that was approved i was like a mess i couldn't concentrate um i was just a nervous wreck um obviously a decision in principle decision in principle should be sufficient like and shouldn't then should be no reason why you then shouldn't get approved for your mortgage because you've been approved for your decision in principle but um it was so nerve-wracking and because it was drawn out longer because there's delays so many delays at the moment stamp duty holiday covid um it was just the system itself and the process is just delayed um i think my financial advisor said that normally it would take about a week um for a mortgage to be approved and at the moment i think they're saying 18 working days <laughs> so you know that's over two weeks it's it's bonkers um but that all got approved and like i said we're just in the legal stuff now of um we haven't exchanged contracts yet um but we are going through all the searches were done which took longer than we were expecting again because of covid um all the searches have come back okay but like i said it's just a case of a couple of inquiries that our solicitor has raised with them and uh we're just waiting on that um and then it will be a uh, just be a point of uh, helped by ISAs having closing those down and getting all the su sufficient paperwork to um for our solicitor to uh, claim the money back from the government with the help to buy scheme that we were paying into which unfortunately is no longer available um and we also need to sort out life cover um which obviously is massively advised you're taking out a loan of a big 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 size it's advised to get life cover i don't think it's a um a caveat of the um mortgage i don't think it's something that we have to do but it's recommended and we will do it so um life cover then it will be exchanging contracts, getting all our monies in the right places and um, and yeah, then completion. So that's where we're at. We've got lots of ideas. We've got lots of things we want to do to the property. We kind of think we won't move all our belongings in straight away. We'll probably just sleep there and decorate. I plan on trying to take a week or two off when we um, when we can, when we've got the keys. Um, so that we can just do a really really deep clean we can decorate it how we want it um but we're so so excited i'm gonna get a library room so it's a three bedroom property i'm gonna get a bedroom for a library which i'm so happy about i was like if you get your workshop in the garden i'm having a library um and i'm so excited about that i can't wait to have a space where i can sit like a desk where i can sit and um I can write because I like I said in another video I am um I'm planning I'm trying to write a book um so I can sit I can write I can record videos I can sit in there quietly and read um and just have my own little space um and I can't wait for that so it's really really exciting I want to take you along the rest of the process with me and if you've got any questions or if there's anything you would like to know about the house buying process if you're um you're saving up and you're you know you're saving up for your deposit for your mortgage or you want any helpful tips or tricks then please let me know 
uh, leave them down below in the comments and um if you want another video kind of about all the um all the like in detail about what you need to do to get your deposit or any of the process then please let me know and i'll i'll happy happily record those and um do a like an individual video on each aspect but i hope this made sense it was a bit more of a rambly update really about what <laughs> what my house buying um process has been so far it's been it's just been a lot of waiting and i think a lot of that's because of the delay with covid and the delay because there's so many people purchasing because of the stamp duty holiday so um yeah it's such an exciting time for us I cannot wait to um to exchange contracts and complete and get the keys to our first home we're both first time buyers it's so exciting and i can't wait so yeah if you've got any questions or if you want any more information on anything i've discussed in this video then please let me know down below in the comments but thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye